What's up cheeky chickies? Today was supposed to be a deep dive on The Expanse. It will be coming. I've just had a little bit of stuff going on this weekend. My partner has appendicitis, so I've been dealing with that and looking after my daughter. So today we're going to do a video and this one's a little bit late, so I'm sorry about that as well. So today we're going to be doing a video on the Merchant Man again, but this one's based on the modularity of the ship. And if a lot of you didn't know, this ship was actually modularity. Now it says here, it's not as configurable as the Caterpillar or the Starfarer, which again leads me to another sort of discovery that the Starfarer was supposed to be modular. So that's very interesting to me. So obviously being modular back then, I'm not too sure if it's going to be modular now, obviously going through the massive changes that it has been going through, but they haven't said that it's not, uh, it's not modular, which is a bit of a disappointment. But again, we just, there's a lot of stuff about the Merchant Man. We just don't know at the moment. They never really gave us a full overview of it. It's just something that was always, it feels like it's, it's a topic that a taboo topic that no one really talks about but again there's always those theory crafters and um everyone out there like myself that does this sort of content and just talks about the ship continuously i don't talk about the ship continuously but there are times where i'd like to talk about it so don't forget to check out the discord t16000 jewel stick giveaway given away at 8,000 subscribers share the video with your friends watch it all the way to the three to the end because that really does help the videos so it says here the banner merchantman isn't just a ship it's a home and a way of life we know that a lot of backers are want to become traders and merchants in Star Citizen but in the Persistent Universe. We cr created a ship that's more than just a sterile bulk freighter for you. The Merchant Man is a traveling bazaar capable of landing or docking and the Im inviting locals in to view where what its cargo holds have to offer. The ship doesn't perfected by generations of the ship's design perfected by generations of banu development is intended to offer a combination of high sp high speed and durability while the banu is less configurable than a caterpillar or starfarer there's still plenty of room to take the ship in different directions from black market trade platform to deadly q ship it's a force to be reckoned with so we do know we're supposed to be modular that's what that uh, little sentence means whether or not it's still modular i just have no idea it would be fantastic if it was modular but again it would be no great loss if it wasn't um it would be good to have a ship that was based on the old concept of the merchant man as well because i really like this negotiation room there's a lot of stuff about the old one that i do like um but you know the new one's just as good so where is development in um where is the merchant man in development obviously we know where it is at the moment it's getting near uh, gray box which is fantastic um so, you know, the inspiration behind the Merchantman, the Banning Merchantman was initially inspired by a 19th century sailing ship, Yankee traders and the like that traveled from port to port, hawking sometimes dubious wares. This was in turn has heavily influenced the development and history of the Banu as a species. The quasi-organic uh, aged look of the Merchantman suggests a more direct connection between the Banu and starfaring. As has the background and its particularly rare prize for merchants in general. In terms of gameplay, the Banu was inspired by games like Ultima Online, where the player can set up their own stall, uh, stall to sell goods they have crafted or collected. Now, I know a lot of you love the Merchant Man. I love the Merchant Man. We all love the damn Merchant Man. But it was interesting... Um, originally to find out this was modular and that could have changed a lot of things with this ship um, but being that it's so so tailored right now and so vast across what it has and what it does I don't know if it really matters if it has um, modularity anymore I just don't know if it's a like a factor of mattering at all or if it mattered in the past but it did add some sort of um, I don't know, it just added something to the ship before I felt like when you were thinking about it. But again, like this ship right now in its current state and what it's going through, what it's being added, what's like all the different things that's happening to it. I feel like modularity isn't a massive thing right now. It's not a massive thing to get upset about if it weren't to go in. It's just one of those things that because it's already still in concept, it's just going to change all the time. 
coffee it's morning <laughs> so being that let me know down in the comments what you think about this join our discord if you like and it'd be very interesting to see people's takes on this and what the modules could have been because the caterpillar i'm gonna believe that that thing's gonna be unbelievably configurable with its modularity as well as like the carrick maybe i should do a video on modularity and just talking about ships and their modularity and just what could be come of some of these vessels because there's people out there that do their own sort of um, videos on this stuff and it's really cool to see what they think up and to actually <laughs> um play around with i've seen i've seen one of the the caterpillar it was a massive massive drop ship it was insane but yeah it's cool to see this it's cool to read about this again and this is just something that i've wanted to talk to use about for a little while so i hope you've enjoyed it's been baron and i'll see you sexy chickies in the back in the in the verse <laughs>